Back now to our top story, a Fox News alert on the investigation into the deadly consulate attack in Libya last week that took the lives of four Americans. We are now being told that there was no protest underway prior to the attack. Even a senior aide with the Obama administration doubled down now on comments made over the weekend by our U.N. ambassador, Susan Rice, who insisted repeatedly, as the administration has done on a larger scale basis, that this attack can be blamed solely on reaction to an anti-Muslim video that resulted in protests that preceded, they claimed, the attack on our consulate. The FBI is, is, has a lead in this investigation. The information, the best information and the best assessment we have today is that, in fact, this was not a pre-planned, premeditated uh, attack. That what happened initially was that it was a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired in Cairo uh, as a consequence of the video. Well, we are waiting to see if the State Department is willing to answer questions about this now. In the meantime, they were supposed to brief reporters beginning about four minutes ago. They're running a little late. We're watching it. Our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Harris, is following this. She broke the news. She joins us live now from Washington. Catherine? Well, Megan, thank you. An intelligence source on the ground in Libya tells Fox there's no significant or sizable demonstration prior to the attack, which began to unfold at 9.35 p.m. in Benghazi. Quote, there was no protest and the attacks were not spontaneous, the intelligence source said, adding the Libyan attack was planned and had nothing to do with the movie. The assault on the consulate came with no warning and included fire from more than two locations, Fox is told. The assault included RPGs, mortar fire, including at least one round that hit the consulate roof, as well as indirect and direct fire. There were two waves to the assault, according to the intelligence source. What was relayed to them is that in the first wave, the attackers were heard to say, we got him. That was a reference to the ambassador. The safe house was on the grounds of the consulate, and as the word spread, Attackers regrouped, and the second wave went after the motorcade and the support personnel. The head of the House Intelligence Committee, who has been briefed extensively on the investigation on the, on the attack, was first to publicly state that it was premeditated, and in an interview with me Friday, he explained this apparent disconnect. <clears throat> I and others and folks and some folks in DOD look at it and come to a different conclusion that it had to be coordinated. Lots of command and control, um, indirect fire, direct fire. Uh, there was even a stop for some period of time in the fighting and then it was re-engaged uh, at, an, at another uh, location uh, around the consulate. So there was, there's just lots of uh, unanswered questions. Uh, today, but there's a lot of other information surrounding it. it leads me to believe that this was clearly a, a, an act of terrorism on a U.S. Uh, diplomatic site. And as Fox was first to report on Thursday, one of the leading groups uh, that is suspected of being behind this attack is Ansar al Sharia. This is a group that has tried to establish an Islamic state in eastern Libya and it has affiliations with Al Qaeda in North Africa. Megan. All right, Catherine, thank you. <clears throat>